Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. In this one I want to talk about some features of uh, OpenGL and in particular I want to talk about uh, how the depth works, how the layer attribute works and how the blending works. I'm talking about these three topics in the same tutorial because uh, they're actually related. So let's take a look, let's start uh, with the depth. We can see that in this scene we have uh, two shapes, a cube and a sphere. They actually, are, in a patch we can see them as uh, these two grid shape objects. The green one is the sphere and the red one is the cube. And we can see here the positions of these two objects. So this is the position of the cube and that's the position of the sphere. Um, now let's see one thing. If we take the cube and uh, we bring it, um, we bring the sphere behind the cube, then we can see that, uh, that the portion of the sphere that is in behind the cube doesn't get drawn. And that's because OpenGL automatically performs a depth test between these two objects and uh, it compares uh, the depth value for every pixel of the cube and for every pixel of the sphere. And if it sees that one object has bigger value than another, so for example in this case the, the sphere being farther has bigger values than the cube, then it uh, doesn't draw all the pixels that uh, fail the depth test with the cube. Those values are collected into a buffer called the depth buffer. So let's write it down. Buffer, which looks like uh, an image basically, with all the values of the depth of the pixels from objects in the scene. And the depth of a pixel is basically related to the Z position of uh, our object in the three-dimensional world. Now let's change the depth enable attribute for these two objects. So let me put the, the cube in front of the sphere and I disable the depth for the cube. Now what happens? Uh, the sphere gets drawn first. And so when we actually delete, uh, set the depth enable attribute of an object to zero, the depth test doesn't get performed anymore for this object. So uh, it doesn't matter what is his uh, depth value, so it's that position in the world, the object uh, gets drawn uh, depending on its layer attribute. So for example, if we set the layer attribute to minus one and the cube as layer attribute zero, now the cube will be always drawn after the sphere, which means that the sphere will be always drawn uh, behind the cube. Also, if the sphere is closer to the camera than the cube, the cube will be always drawn uh, in front of the sphere. Uh, if we set the layer of the sphere to two, then the sphere will be drawn always after the cube, which means that uh, uh, doesn't matter the Z value of the two objects anymore, the sphere will be drawn always on top, on top of the cube. Okay, so um, if we activate again the depth test, then we can see that the layer attribute actually loses importance and what matters is just the Z value of these two objects. So, Okay, that's it for the depth and the layer. Let's actually now talk about the blending. Uh, you can see that these objects have a color with the alpha value set to 0.5, so they are potentially alpha uh, transparent. Let's activate the blend for the sphere. And we set uh, the, the blend uh, mode to uh, alpha blend. We have now that we can see the cube uh, behind the sphere. And this is exactly what we could imagine from uh, a semi-transparent object. Now, let's see something. If we change the layer of the sphere to be less than the layer of the cube, uh, we lose the effect of transparency for the sphere. And that's because the blending in a scene is performed by blending together the colors of the scene with the, the color of the blending object but if we draw the sphere before the cube, then there is actually still nothing in the scene at this point uh, to which the, um, uh, the sphere can be blended. So the solution to that is to render opaque object first. So let me write this down. Opaque objects must be rendered first to achieve 
transparency. So what does this mean? That uh, the sphere, the cube, must, must actually be rendered first. So we have to set a layer for the sphere greater than the cube. And then everything works. In this case, we can see the cube behind the sphere as if the sphere was transparent. Now, if we disable the depth, then we have that the sphere uh, doesn't desiccate with the cube anymore because depth testing is not performed anymore and we have the same situation as before. So, actually, it's a good solution to leave the... If we want one opaque object and one transparent object, uh, we want simply to leave the depth enable on and to set the layer of the transparent object to be greater than the layer of any other opaque object. Now, in case you want to draw your transparent objects with no intersection with uh, other objects, then you can also disable the depth enable uh, for the transparent object and then uh, the rendering order is just decided from the layer attribute. So, for example, if you set the alpha blend to add and you just want uh, to have uh, an object that gets added to the scene but uh, without an intersection with other objects, then you can just render it without the depth enable. If you want to draw both of them um, transparent, then we can actually disable the depth for both of them and just work uh, with the layers. So if we want the cube to be drawn before the sphere, then we have to set this layer to a number greater than the number for the sphere. So, uh, yeah, I wanted this to be brief. I hope uh, this is clear enough. So if you have some questions, please just ask me. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for uh, watching this small tutorial and uh, see you on the next one. Ciao.